excellent timing agent. Now, let's get straight to the point. Your absolute attention is required. Our target goes by the name of Alicia. As one of the finalists in this competition, her team ID is SG3018 and her team name is BH83. She's currently in the co-space autonomous driving U19 League and is representing the country of Singapore. Now, locating her has proved to be more difficult than usual. Of course, there are a lot of factors that could contribute to such a situation. However, it appears you didn't factor in the possibility that... She's already here. <laughs> what? <laughs> Surprised to hear me? It's not entirely my fault that your firewalls and systems are easy to get into now, is it, Agent? <laughs> well then, I'd introduce myself, but I technically already did earlier. With that out of the way, where were we? I'm sure you'd want to listen to the information your dear target would give out, right? I mean, I could be wrong. After all, you'd probably think I'll be lying. But you're lucky this one loves the thrill of a game of cat and mouse. Where's the fun in misleading you? I've been in this industry for over six years now, even attending multiple competitions myself throughout the years. In our mission, for us autonomous driving folks, we were tasked to complete the map provided to us by programming our bots to move to the assigned destination from our current location by following the lines on the road in the fastest time possible. Within the map itself, there were a total of 5 checkpoints where our robot must stop at for 2 seconds before moving to the next one. I hope you're paying attention, Agent, because I don't exactly like to repeat myself. In the preliminary challenge, there is always that issue with balancing speed and stability. Get the robot to move too fast and there it goes, moving like crazy before falling like the London Bridge in that one nursery rhyme. Want to be careful? Let the robot take its time, and you're nowhere near the top of the leaderboard. Wish I could say it was a 50-50 thing, but in the end, 40% of the bot's stability was sacrificed for the sake of speed. Then there's finding the fastest route possible, which wasn't too big of an issue as compared to finding the perfect balance between speed and stability. The solution to this one was taking a screenshot of the map and drawing on it in a separate software like Microsoft Paint. There is an issue I'd like to go in depth on, which are these three areas. With my robot initially programmed to follow the lines on the road, I had to add in something. With the use of variables and advanced actions and conditions via the graphical user interface, I managed to incorporate the use of proportional turns and was able to program the robot into locking onto the desired angle before moving in that direction. I also added a little safety feature where the robot would essentially bounce off the white edges once its sensors have sensed them. In the Autonomous Driving League, the robots are, well, autonomous. So as the robot navigates around the map, all you need to do is sit back and relax. Since the robot is autonomous, when on the field, it is constantly checking whether any conditions are fulfilled or not. For example, to put it simply, the robot is constantly asking itself if it senses a checkpoint. Throughout the map, it would keep answering itself no, but once it does reach a checkpoint, it will stop for two seconds before moving off to the next checkpoint, and it goes back to step one. Repeat the cycle for the whole map. So I mentioned that I used a GUI, or graphical user interface. As much as I love the different colors it has and arguably a much simpler appearance, it is not as universal as other programming tools like C and Python, which look like this. For this challenge, the GOI allows me to obtain the same result in just a few simple clicks as a minute of typing away in C or Python would. Though, I must say, more advanced programs are trickier to input in the GOI. Let's get to the fun bit, shall we? Debugging. So, the robot didn't perform in the way you programmed it to. What happened? 
Welp, grab your eye drops and get ready to open them for the whole process of debugging. I mainly use printf as a way to let me know which statement the robot is currently performing or just performed, which shows up in the simulator's command prompt like tab. I also open up the simulator's debug tab to check for what values are in the variables I used. So, I had three things to carefully stare at all at once. Command prompt and debugging tab, including the main simulator tab too. Felt like a... Security guard, in all honesty. Hey. Hey. Still with me? Alright, good. Let's talk results, yeah? Ultimately, it was eh. Mediocre, if you will. Although I was able to shed 12 seconds from my first run's timing within 2 hours, after hours of tuning the previous run, I began to... stagnate. Hours of fine-tuning and trying whatever came to mind, yet I obtained the same result and I wasn't able to shed any more seconds. If you asked me to solve the same challenge again, what would I do differently? Eh, it would be to take note of what changes I made in every save file, like some changelog. I had over 11 versions of the file, and when I had to open up a past save, I didn't know which to open up, as I made multiple changes like adding statements or making changes to the conditions or actions. You can just imagine what nightmare I went through. So, what have I learned using the Co-Space robot? Well, if anything, it would be learning how to use the proportional turn and its logic. I believe having the knowledge to program the robot to turn to a specific angle in the most efficient way is quite useful, don't you think? <laughs> so if you were to ask me what I have gained through RCAP 2021, it would be knowledge. Mm. Let's wrap this thing up, shall we? One thing I'd like to say before I go dark. Take care of yourself, my friend. Get out of good sleep, eat well and right, stay hydrated. A healthy body is a healthy mind, and a healthy mind is an efficient one. Take breaks from doing work as well. Don't overwork yourself. Muy importante! <laughs> well then, I'm done here. Thank you for your fullest attention. <laughs> Have fun tracking my location through this call, Agent. Let me give you a hint though. This whole thing is pre-recorded. As this is being played, I'm already long gone from the track location. <laughs> Alrighty then, I'll be off. Come and catch me, if you can. <laughs>